hello guys welcome to another video here on uh, SMTP penetration testing uh, SMTP is a simple mail transfer protocol and this protocol is responsible for delivering and sending email uh, within networks and in this video I'm just going to show how to um, you know do some penetration testing on this port uh, which is 25 uh, I'll be using the metasploitable 2 uh, just to show some few enumeration on how to actually utilize uh, the SMTP. Sometimes it's basically not vulnerability on SMTP, it's just that we'll be able to take advantage of SMTP to get some users in the system and be able to use those users to brute force uh, into that system using a different protocol poss possibly. Now without further ado, to set up M uh, Metasploitable 2, we just have that running uh, just to confirm we log in with msf admin hit enter msf admin hit enter and over here you can just type if config tab complete and we still have our ip address as the same if you still watching the series which is 192.168.32.132 with that being said we're done here we just head on to Kali Linux back usually the first thing you want to do is ctrl shift t uh, you see here new tab control shift t all right now the first thing you want to do is just use nmap to actually see if um, there's an open port uh, which is uh, specifically we're looking for port 25 here and which is to see if uh, there's an uh, smtp running in that system so we use nmap uh, nmap um, specifically here we are looking for port 25 here okay now you can use dash s c for uh, script dash s v for version then our ip address 192.168.32.132 uh, um, basically i think that's it um, uh, just hit enter and let's run the end map okay so we got a result and we can see port 25 here open for smtp the version is post fix uh post fix smtp uh basically here um the first thing next thing you want to do usually uh, an option if you don't want to use nmap is to use what we call the telnet you can use telnet telnet to confirm if um um if uh if SMTP is running on this machine, so we can use Telnet the IP address 192.168.32.132, and then we just put on the port which is port 25. Hit enter, and then it's trying to connect connected uh, to 192.168. Escape character is J. So basically, uh, if it did connect this way, um, okay. Now we see. Uh, we have a multi-exploitable to look at ESMTP postfix Ubuntu, which means this is actually running on this machine. And uh, basically, this is just what we wanted to test using Telnet. Uh, there's another couple of features you can run here. I'm not sure if I type help. No. So there are other ones you can run uh, using this, uh, but this is just to confirm that it's actually running. So it, that's it. Now, uh, the next thing I want us to do is to enumerate or to get users in this system uh, using this uh, enum tool. There are two ways, and the first thing we'll, let's try to use uh, MS Console, MSF Console. I like to use that queue so it doesn't show me the banner. So uh, once this loads up, we can, uh, yeah. All right, so our MSF Console is running. And what you just need to search is you need to use an auxiliary tool here, which is search uh, SMTP um, dash enum, I believe. Hit enter, and let's see if we get a result. Um, sorry, let me just say SMTP. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, search SMTP. Hit enter. Uh, Okay, I might want to lower that search to SMTP and NOM. It's an auxiliary though, but let me see here. Uh, obviously, this is what I was looking underscore in NOM. So uh, let me search that again. Search uh, SMTP 
underscore enum search that uh, this is quite better now this is exactly a scanner an auxiliary scanner for smtp enumeration it will enumerate uh, users in the utility so we're just going to use this by saying use zero hit enter and once this does we are already using this now so you can click on options so we can know what we need and what we don't need uh, over here we have everything set up uh, we're using we're actually using the uh, the user file is automatically using the user share metasploit framework data word list and then unix user.txt uh, which we're going to use actually when we want to do this without using the msf console or the meta printer now um, we're just going to set our host and to set our host we just type uh, our host set our host to uh, ip address of our uh, metasploitable 2 is 192.168 32.132 hit enter once that is said we just type run and that should be running right now okay now while this is taking some time we might as well also just come over to uh, a new tab here and use a tool command line tool called smtp tp uh, dash user is that it a user dash enum if you if you don't have this installed in Kali already, you can just smtp enum hit enter. If you use enter, uh, it will just ask you to install it. But in this case, it's, it's going to just show you the um, more like the usage options on how to use it. Now, um, this is another way to actually boost force for it. It's called verify. Okay, the VRFY of two. So what this is going to run is going to run the dash m to verify user list that you're going to give it so more or less brute forcing through the user list that you give it in this case we're just going to add um, um you, you know the option that was used here uh the file list that it used here we can use that as well to actually uh do that so we're going to do that right away so i'm going to use smtp user enum dash verify that's you uh in this case we're just going to change the ip address I'm going to clear this and paste this okay now our ip address is what 192.168.32.132 okay and then the user list we want to use is the metasploit framework so we're going to use uh, user share i think meta no uh, let me confirm that again uh, it's metas okay meta met uh, okay yeah metas play framework you can hit tab to choose the options you want to choose next in this point we need the data uh, data and in data we need let me see here word list Okay, so I'm just going to type word list, and then lastly, in the word list, we need the Unix. TST user. The TST. Okay. Now we've got that. Uh, we have dash T. We have 192.168.32.132, and we're going to hit enter. So uh, now it's on the mode to verify, and which is the dash M we set. There are different modes. Uh, user account is 168 and then it's going to give us a result of the available scan so while these two scans are running which is this uh, using the command tool which is optional and also the one from the uh, um, metasploit okay so let's see what happens all right guys um, as you can see here for the uh, msf console we're able to pull up uh, some users here users found um, is uh, we can see backup being um, demon and so on and so forth so we're able to pull off postgres nobody we can see msf ww data where's that user okay uh, all right so we're able to pull off these users from the system but fortunately i'm not sure why uh this verify uh did not pull up uh some users as well from the list so i might rerun that again so with this now you can actually be able to copy out this uh, whole uh list and create a 
user list okay we can be able to create a user list uh, let me open up a new tab here nano um, smtp user users and I'm going to paste that um, let's see here okay yes it's gonna take quite a while so I'm just gonna skip the part where I'm done with it all right so once we're done now we're just going to uh, cut that and we'll be able to see all the list another thing we want to actually check is what using netcat to actually check for uh, verify if um, these users are actually uh, working um, or in the system to verify if these users are in the system so you can use netcat 19 the ip address 192.168.32.132 and then on port 25 hit enter okay uh, once you've done this okay now once you've done this it's going to you, you might just want to type in any of the users that we found for instance uh, we can pick up service here uh, once you pick up service you can type in service and hit enter uh, not recognize what's that uh, let me see here you can pick up uh, user and then we'll type that in here what am I doing error command not recognize okay sorry um you suppose um, supposed to verify verify uh v r f y verify then paste the user and it's going to give you 2.00 user for instance if i type my name verify and uh, i use nice sec and i hit enter it's going to tell you that the recipient address is rejected which means it's not in this system so it's one way to actually verify if that user is available now that was the same thing we're about to use uh this to do so i'm going to rerun this just to confirm that we do have uh those names on the system so like i'm going to i don't know if it's the word list issue but it's, you're supposed to verify at least one or two couple of names there so i'm going to paste this again but the only thing i'm going to remove is the user list i'm going to use the the list here is going to be um the smtp user list okay so i have that now and then i can hit enter and let's see if that verifies so we have about user count 28 let's see if it's going to verify all of them because that's exactly what we enumerated using the uh you know the scanner for smtp and num here okay so let's see what happens all right we got zero results again uh is either i'm doing something wrong or there's something wrong with the machine running this but i'm not sure what happened let me see smtp user and num uh yeah verify dash u users the tst dash t yeah okay um i'm gonna figure that out and maybe i'll mention it in another video but for now once you run this it was supposed to just give us the list of the verified users that are in the system for now i'm not sure if something is wrong with the user list we have tried to use a list here and just work. if someone knows about this you can type that in the comment all right that's that for now uh, at least we're able to uh, you know cover uh you know enumerating with nmap telnet and also using meta uh, metasploit to be able to enumerate for users and then we're able to save those users and also play around with it um we're also able to verify those users using netcat uh we had a fail brute force or should i say enumeration using this smtp user and norm 2 i'll figure that out and maybe make another video so uh, thank you guys for studying with me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Ciao